Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast. On today's episode, I will be looking at several shows to expect this upcoming month of September. I'm going to give you a whole list in detail. No, I'm going to give you a list first and then we kick on the show where I will give you details of what to expect. I'm going to start things off uh, with one piece. It comes off on the 31st of September. Uh, Disenchantment, the 1st of September. Love at first sight that comes on the 15th of september river side a virgin side i don't know why i said riverside virgin river september 7th uh, once upon a crime 14th september in erringard uh, art of seduction uh, 14th of september uh, gamera uh, rebirth 7th of september uh, a time you called uh, 7th uh, not so, sorry 8th of september Spy Ops, 8th of September. Uh, what else? Miss Education, 15th of September. That is what I will be touching on this very episode. So I'm going to get into detail on what to expect in terms of the things that are coming out. I've watched a few trailers of all the things that I'll be talking about. So I know very little of information except for those shows that are returning for 3rd, 4th, 5th even sixth season so let's get on with the show roll the intro you are now listening to an episode of the let's netflix and chill podcast hosted by reese chanson Okay, let's start things off with one piece. Uh, the Straw Hats make uh, their first debut in live action uh, film, really, with the courtesy of Netflix. They make it onto the big screen. Of course, hopefully Netflix do not mess this up because we have known how they've messed up a lot of shows with this live adaptation nonsense. They did it with Bleach. They did it with a bunch of shows. Now, hopefully, 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 they do not do the same hip of nonsense once again. Now, uh, let's get to the point. Monkey D. Luffy uh, goes on a never-ending adventure. Seriously, this guy has been going on adventure since 1999, I think. In the anime version, episodes over a thousand. But he gets a life adaptation series. Will the series flop? Will the series make it? I don't know. What all I know is expect a lot of camaraderie, a lot of family connections, a lot of action, great fantasy. And it's also based on a manga that everybody knows and everybody's in love with. So it's a very popular manga. So Netflix really have to deliver. Otherwise, they will be a lot of serious problems. I'm telling you, there'll be a lot of serious problems. And if secondly, uh, we're going to talk about disenchantment that comes out on the 1st of September. Uh, it's a new season. It's a part five of the show. Uh, and this one, uh, Princess Bean has to save uh, Dreamland by destroying her mother. If you watched the previous season, you know that her mother is really trying hard to destroy her and get her to fulfill her fantasy. Uh, not her fantasy, rather her, uh, what, what's this word? Uh, her destiny in a way, which is to destroy everything and everyone that she holds dear to herself. Now the question will be, will she be able to defeat her mother after discovering a whole new thing about her? Or will she succumb to the prophecy and do as the prophecy foretells? It's going to be interesting. And if you have not seen it, I think you should check it out from the first season. It's a witty, adventurous, and royalty-based type of anime. So a lot of folks will enjoy it. It's not really an anime anime. It's a cartoon, let's be honest. But I don't want to get shot in the foot by the anime lovers. Me, be myself. But that's why I'm disqualified. It's not a Japanese anime. Like, oh my god, it's a fucking cartoon. Moving on. Uh, Virgin River which comes out 7th of September, season 5. So it's a brand new season. Mel and Jack are back yet for another season. Uh, they will have to adjust uh, to a new path. They will have to make do with what business they have to deal with and to, you know, to try to make their lives flourish in town and also uh, be aware of new threats and secrets that will submerge or emerge, rather not submerge, that will emerge 
into the light that could destroy the very fabric of their rela reality. So it's a bit soapy. So if you've watched soapy shows, this is a vibe for you. Uh, it's a bit bittersweet. It's got drama and a bit of romance. So it's good for the couple, family, and everybody else in between. And of course, uh, we're moving on to another anime. Uh... Gamera Rebirth. Now, this is another, another fucking kaiju story. I've had it. I've watched too many kaiju stories from Netflix, and I loved each and every one of them. So, I'm looking for this forward for this one. This one is a series that comes out September 7th. Uh, uh, the story takes place in Tokyo, 1989. Where four kids witness this turtle kaiju. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. I've seen dinosaurs. I've seen everything. Never seen a turtle one. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, a turtle kaiju Gamera. Um, and they have to bravely find ways to defeat this monstrous man-eating creature. So it's a sci-fi anime. It's very explosive. Semi-historical fictional piece, so you will be excited to watch this if you are my like me and you enjoy all these kaiju related animes that Netflix has been dropping. You're going to really enjoy this one. Now moving on with another uh, uh well we're moving on to a documentary to be honest. It's called Spy Ops. Uh, it comes out. It's a series basically. It comes out September eighth. Uh, as it stands, or as it's detailed after watching the trailer, of course, it's an intelligent. It's intelligence operatives uh, from MI6 to uh, the KGB, whatever, to CIA, uh, who share insider stories of spycraft, Cold War campaigns, and coups they carried out uh, as covert agents. So basically, it's just a bunch of former spies telling stories and sharing a pint about how they fucked third world countries that's basically i don't care what how they present it how they deal with it but i will be watching it september 8th it's captivating it's prerogative it's a documentary so it's about spies expect some james bondy type of vibe i guess it's reality so if you're into documentaries especially about military spy type of covert stuff this will be for you and moving on uh with the show we've got um a time called you it's also a series that comes out 8th of september so a lot of stuff will be coming out on the 8th of september so that means it's going to be a lot to take in and i plan on doing a review of all this so it's going to be a lot of watching for me and a lot of work but i hopefully i get it done in time anyway uh a time called you it's a series september 8th as you mentioned it's about a time traveling woman a grieving woman basically who lost her lover time travels to the past where she meets uh, a man who resembles her former lover and she tries to rekindle a uh, uh, forbidden odd love i guess in a way if she trans if she travels to the past she's basically making this guy a pedo like the guy who she falls in love with is definitely a pedophile because he's he's basically dating a fetus <laughs> Because she's not born yet. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, moving on. It's got, it's nostalgic. It's a time travel piece. So it's got love. It's got drama. And it's Korean. And it's drama. So it will be interesting. So ever since I was introduced to this Korean type of dramas, I've really fallen in love with them. And I enjoy them all the time. So I think everyone should definitely check this one out. Of course, and then follows a Danish uh, type of drama Erengard the art of seduction is a movie that comes out 14th of september it's got bridget uh bridgerton type of vibes everybody's calling it that i've seen the comment sections of uh when i saw the trailer on youtube on the netflix channel so everyone is saying it's got britain britain vibes bridgerton vibes rather so i checked it out i watched the trailer and i have to say it does have those type of vibes it's danish so bit danish royalty type of vibes so the story is is basically a, a connoisseur of love like a practitioner of the art of seduction is, is appointed or instructed to teach uh, the son of the duchess or the grand duchess really the art of seduction the boy is timid the boy is whack the boy's got no game so this dude comes into the royal palace or or the royal i don't know what the royal is it's a trade i saw a trade. i don't know a lot of things comes into this uh, scenery 
uh, to teach this man how to woo women and ends up wooing a woman he shouldn't be wooing and finding himself some romance so it should be an interesting take it's the historic period piece it's danish i already mentioned it's romantic it's comedy it's got a bit intimacy so i say um this is a great show to netflix and chill with your lover and condomize by the way oh don't it's really up to you <laughs> Anyway, and moving on, Once Upon a Crime. Well, this is another bullshit story on Cinderella, the Red and Riding Hood, and, and, and all the porridge and all the nonsense that they come up with. So basically, this is another spin-off, another parody, another nonsense, but this happens to be Japanese, so it might be actually interesting. So, uh, according to this, it's just uh, uh, the Red and High, Little Red riding hood and cinderella go to the royal ball apparently i'm assuming i don't fucking know or little riding hood becomes the detective i really don't know what's going on all i know is i saw the little trailer saw a few clips and i noticed it's about cinderella there's little red riding hood in there and there's a crime somebody gets killed and somebody's got to investigate it and cinderella might be suspect because she runs away with a slipper which it makes it an interesting dramatic take on the you know, the the fairy tale. So, will it be a good ending or a horrible ending? I really don't know. So, it's a bit quirky. It's comedy. It's mystery. And, of course, it's got fantasy vibes in it. And, for first things first, it's Japanese. So, everybody knows how I'm in love with Japanese culture. So, I will be definitely watching this on the 14th of September. September. Hopefully not to be disappointed because I'm already disappointed by the fact that they're doing another take on Disney princesses. Oh, for fuck's sakes. How long do we have to watch this nonsense? Okay, uh, moving on. Miss Education is a series that comes out uh, 15th of September. South African based. So it should be interesting. Uh, it's about... Uh, a child of a disgraced minister, apparently, uh, a wannabe influencer who gets publicly humiliated and becomes an online mimi, and everybody's taking a dig at her, uh, tries to rekindle her, her life, or to, you know, you know, that story where they say you have to go to a different town to find yourself, to, you know, to be a different person to hide away from your messes so this wannabe uh, celebrity enrolls in a small town where she hopes that nobody recognizes her and somehow somebody recognizes her from the get-go oh uh, so the whole premise of the whole thing is she tries to regain her former social status but the question will be she'll discover herself that's my personal opinion I haven't watched the damn thing. It's, it's, it's from a trailer. I think she'll rediscover herself and she'll realize what life, living, friendship, and love is more important than social status, than looking cool on the internet. I hope that's the message they'll be selling. If they don't deliver that, I'll be very, 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 very disappointed. So it's teenage uh, South African, I already mentioned. It's, got, it's covering a bunch of social issues from bullying. Um, so stuff like that and it's got comedy and it's south african as i already mentioned comes out the 15th of september and to close things off uh uh love at first sight it's a movie uh 15th of september comes out it's basically in the name love at first sight um two strangers uh meet on a flight to london and they fall in love they go through seven hour flight apparently they go through the phases of love and they fall in love through unforeseen circumstances but let's be honest a broken phone they lose means of communication to each other and they cannot talk or anything and the whole premise of the whole film is them trying to crawl uh, gravel beg plead do everything necessary to crawl back to each other's arms so it's very 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 heartfelt it's got a feel good type of vibe so it should be interesting for all those lovers and i think it's also a number one pick for me for that netflix and chill uh type of vibe with your lover it's based on a novel 
uh, romance like i said it's got romance it's got drama so it's based on a novel and i think you will enjoy it that's it for me with what's coming up in netflix so uh so that's like half of the month of september so i should be doing another one once netflix reveals what is coming up next so i've got dates from the first to the 15th so around the 10th maybe i will do an episode regarding what comes out with the remaining months of september so this is what to look forward to in the first 15 days of september with that being said it's been a pal roll the outro i am gone adios now that was entertaining you just listened to an episode of the let's netflix and chill podcast with reese jansen with that being said remember to support the podcast on patreon and let's hang out another time adios folks adios <laughs>